These double doors for you guys, you will use these to go in and out of okay. the building as you need to throughout the night. Again, it's your private, so they'll make sure. Do with what you want. Awesome. Um, we do ask because do with what you want. Awesome. Um, we do ask because we don't pay for heating in the rest of the building. If you're going to go in, try to Just... close this door as best you can behind you. Okay. This room used to be the chapel. This was open on Sundays for anyone who wanted to come to worship services. This was also a common area that would be used for patients who wanted to visit with their families who were well enough to come down. Um, a few years ago, we had a couple of young ladies come in. These windows, as you can see, obviously are not time period. We put them in to kind of help keep the building from getting any worse than it is. Um, so these used to be open, open when the Historical Society took over. Uh, when we started doing tours, we had a couple of ladies standing by that window right over there that's cracked. They pulled out the disposable codex. They had a friend take a picture of them, of the two of them, and they caught something that was, um, needless to say, quite interesting. Uh, they brought it up here. We questioned its validity. They sent it off to Kodak thinking it was a double exposure. Kodak could not find anything, but I'll let you guys take a look at that. Oh, in the back? Yeah, like the face area. So I'll ask you guys real quick, go over that window and take a look. Tell me if there's any way that somebody could have cranked it, cranked down, <gasps> gotten into yeah. that photo without anyone knowing. Absolutely not. I don't think so. <laughs> no. And to this day, no one has been able to explain what that is. Oh, look at how big it is. This is the solarium. This is where patients would be rolled out of their double occupancy rooms on this side. Year round, 13 plus hours a day in their beds, because again, they believed back then that a treatment for tuberculosis was fresh air, sunlight, things like that. All year round, they would roll them out here. We have documented pictures of patients out here covered in blankets and snow, getting fresh air. Oh my gosh. Um, it seems brutal now, but it's back then, what they thought we was didn't right. know any better. Like I was telling you about two, three, and four. If you look, they are all the same. Double occupancy rooms on this side with the solarium, single occupancy terminal rooms with bathrooms on this side. Um, the belief was to keep them up, the morale up of the ones who were getting better. You don't leave a terminal patient in the room. Plus, it gives the terminal patient a little dignity. To, like, be by themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Welcome to the fifth floor. Uh, this is where the sickest of the sick of the children were kept. This was the children's wing over here. Um, the old pictures show a swing set. It used to be out on the floor. Uh, that's here. the one I was getting yes, confused that with. We, that's the part of the swing set in the photo. We did Hillview a lot, and for some reason I was thinking Hillview had it. Oh. Uh, was it Hillview? No. They had a swing set throughout the night. Again, the building's yours. You want air, this is a great place to come. Oh, yeah. So this was where the sickest of the sick children were housed. Um, Obviously, again, morale, they didn't want the better children that had hope losing their morale seeing these children. A big story is tied to this room. One of the falsehoods of the stories is that it happened inside of this room, which it did not. This was strictly a bathroom. The stories go that and again, these are stories. This is not proven fact. We do not have records to prove what did or did not happen. Um, a nurse was found hanging on this floor, right here where this light fixture is. This fixture is not original to Waverly Hills. This was put in during the Woodhaven days, um, but there was a fixture up here during Waverly Hills time the nurse was found hanging from. Okay. Um, some of the big stories are that she contracted TB and she couldn't deal with it and hung herself. 
she was pregnant, found out she had contracted TB and hung herself, had an affair with the doctor, told the doctor she was pregnant, was keeping the baby. The doctor tried to perform an abortion. The abortion went wrong, so he hung her to make it look like it was suicide. One of the more relevant ones that we've heard a lot of EV EVPs come through to kind of prove is the story that she was raped by an orderly in the rooms over here. The story is thought of to go that the orderly came up here at night and had his way with her. The EVPs that they've gotten are hurt my neck. And so they believe that he may have choked her or broke her neck and to make it cover it up, he tied her up, make it look like suicide. Um, I will leave that up to you guys if you do EVPs to find out. If you find anything, please do come and let me know because we would like to piece that story yeah. out of respect for her as much as we possibly can. All right, this is the fourth floor. Again, as you can see, pretty much the same as two. Um, double occupancies and solarium on this side, terminals and restrooms on that side. Oh wait, did you? I could did you hear it? it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It sounded that like wasn't a, a phone. No. no, it sounded like a girl. I thought something like like coming from that way mm -hmm. down down that way. Well, wait, oh wait, no, I hear a dog barking too. Maybe there, it was a dog. There is a community right down the hill. There's a, if I remember the directions correctly, there's a yappy dog out that way. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's and then there's a bigger <laughs> dog out that way. So, and there's coyotes. You may hear them as well. Okay, cool. Um, but voices are not right. unusual. Um, this is the fourth floor. A big story with the fourth floor, there are a couple in the Woodhaven days. So Waverly ran from October 25th, 1926. The building officially opened for work and for patients. It closed in 61. Once a cure was found, they were, or a vaccine was found, they were able to get everyone out. They no longer needed the building, so they closed it. In 62, it was purchased and opened as the Woodhaven Geriatric Center building, old folks. And Woodhaven was only allowed to operate floors one through three. They were not allowed to operate four and five because of the structural integrity of the building. However, Woodhaven quickly became a dumping site, unfortunately, for families who had loved ones who they no longer wanted to care for, they couldn't care for, they couldn't afford to care for, they got dumped here. So it was kind of like a poor farm then? Um, in a way, there were people that paid to have their loved ones here okay. and that would come and visit, but then there were some, unfortunately, that honestly were actually just dumped at the door no documentation, no nothing. And back then they didn't know how to deal with Alzheimer's and dementia and Parkinson's and diseases like that that would cause a patient to not be able to communicate well. So those patients were brought up here to the fourth floor. Um, they are often referred to as the forgotten ones because they did not receive anywhere near the quality of treatment that one through three received and one through three received treatment after a certain point that would make you sick to your stomach. A social worker in the late eighties came in and did a check, a welfare check on the patients in the building. She heard moaning, crying, screaming of patients. When she turned around, this is what she saw. Oh my gosh. She saw people chained to their beds, strapped to their beds, laying in their own bodily waste, plates of food covered in bodily waste, horrible, horrible, horribly disgusting circumstances for anyone to be kept in. Uh, one night after the tours were done, security heard someone screaming in the building. They came inside to investigate. They heard, help us, help us, help us, help us. When they got up here to the fourth floor, this door was closed. There were some boys on this side of the door screaming, they won't let us out, please help. And security kept saying, who won't let you out? The shadows, they're all around us. They won't let us out. Now, these doors, most of them are not hard to close. There are a couple because of age that are, get kind of sticky. However, this door,
is not. <laughs> it doesn't even latch. It doesn't no. even get stuck. So this door was closed all the way. The boys were banging and beating at the door. Security told them just push it. The boys said, we can't, they won't let us. Security went up, one finger from the other side and pulled the door open. The boys fell out, took off running and were never seen again. When security <laughs> looked closer at the door. I did see that. That's... This is what they found. What the hell is that? The boys had used a hatchet to break into the building because back then down on the first floor, those weren't windows. Those were just boards. Okay. So they had used a hatchet to break in the plywood and they were carrying the hatchet around with them. They were beating the door with the hatchet. And it wouldn't come open? To get out and it would not open. Okay. <laughs> so while you're up here later, keep an eye on the shadows. Some of them are mean, some of them are friendly. Okay, shadows, fourth floor. Yep, you will see them. You may see some that just kind of poke their head out. We believe those ones are the forgotten ones from the Woodhaven days. Um, this floor is also known for big black. If the entire hallway goes black or everything around you goes black, pray. Um, seriously, <laughs> say a prayer. Uh, the other thing you may witness, which is mostly on this floor, is the crawler or the creeper up the walls along the ceiling so does this go like the whole length of the building or this is that action is underneath the cafeteria wing this has nothing above it but ground oh okay so for some reason i was thinking we were underneath stuff but we're not no well underground and i'm guessing it goes pretty far because i can hear it go all the way down there the body chute goes 500 feet it's 153 steps down is there anything down there um a fence, some plastic, and some insulation to help keep people out and the elements out. You can't hear anything down there that you won't hear up here because it, yeah, it echoes, it echoes down. like a motherfucker. Um, you are more than welcome to go to the bottom. The body chute originally was used to bring building supplies up when they were building the building. They would, there used to be an old railroad that used to run out at the end. The railroad, the train would stop, they would unload the supplies, and they would bring them up here with like coal carts that you used to see in mines. They would use those to bring the building supplies up. Um, once the building was completed, this was used to bring supplies for the building up. Food, medical supplies, um, the staff would use this as an entrance. So could you imagine coming in before oh your gosh, shift yeah. and walking this? And then after working an eight, 10, yeah, 12 hour shift, yeah, no ma'am. Um, at the height of the pandemic, when the deaths reached a person an hour, this did get used to transport bodies out. Because again, they thought that morale was a big thing with helping to treat tuberculosis. And imagine sitting out on that solarium and seeing a hearse. Oh yeah, coming hour, up, yeah. Pull up and one of your friends or people that you know being put into it and driven off. So to keep morale up, out the bottom. So, again, um, I have personally had experiences, heard voices. Uh, one of my most recent ones was last year, I was here with a group of friends doing a private investigation and the girls didn't want to come down to the body shoot. So my friend and I came down here and we went maybe 30 steps down because both of us have been to the bottom numerous times. But we walked maybe about a third of the way down, sat, did a little EVP, did a little spirit box, didn't really catch much of anything. Neither of us are really in that bad shape. <laughs> um, I mean, 50 steps isn't gonna kill me. And especially the way these are done. Short, short, long, short, short, long. And it's like that all the way yeah. down. We walked back up, not quick, didn't run, walked at a normal pace up, and by the time the both of us got here, we couldn't get air to save our lives. Oh and it gosh. wasn't like I'm winded, I can't breathe. It was uh, 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 I'm to, yeah. physically like someone had sucked the oxygen out of the room. Oh my gosh. We heard a growl come from the bottom. We heard what we thought were the girls in our group coming down the body chute. And then the voices stopped. We didn't say hello, we couldn't, we couldn't breathe. Yeah. We both booked it out of here, made it out, and as soon as we got out the door that we walked into the tunnel, it was like- It was fine, <gasps> yeah. 
and we were both breathing normal again. We radioed the girls. Hey, were you guys just down here? We're on four. Well, how long have you been on four? Well, since before you guys left us to go down to the body shoot. Yeah, and, and they said they even said they wouldn't come down here, so why exactly. would they? Exactly. Yeah. So the growl that we heard, the female voices, the lack of oxygen. Again, I'm not That's crazy. running a marathon any damn time soon. This doesn't <laughs> run, but it's not in bad enough shape that 50 steps are going to lay me out and suck the oxygen out of me like that. Okay, getting ready to go to the shoot. We're going to do that first. back we are. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was like, what is behind me already? I just wanted to show you how far back we were already. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to point it towards me because oh it, it's a lot colder down here on this side. It was hot up there, but now it's like cold. How far, oh, how far underground do you think we are? I don't know. Not too far. And we're to the end, guys. We have done the death shoot. Oh, it just spiked to eight. 4.5, 1.7. Can you see it on the... Hello. Hi. We literally just sat down. 3.0, 10.7. Can you see it on here, Sabrina? Okay. It's backwards, but... Yeah. It's weird because it's spiking. It's yeah, because it's spiking right and then like that's going. Eighteen point four. It has never spiked. I've never high. seen it at eighteen. I like the fact they're both passing. I know. Hi, is there anybody down here? That was it's thirty three point five. I have never seen it that high. Can you do me a favor? Can you say something into this device over here? Or step to next to this one right here? Now I used this at the woods mm -hmm. and the lady was holding it the whole time and we got like 0, 0.0. It only spiked once. Oh really? So it's not from somebody holding it. No. Or is it from my watch? It shouldn't be. No, 0, 0.0. Look, it's just been 0, 0.0 ever since it stopped. That's really weird. If you'd like to come talk to us, can you come over here and stand next to this or maybe over here? I stopped for a second because I thought I heard. I think it might be a truck. I think so. Can you come step over next to this? Literally, like as soon as we asked for it. Can you do that again? Can you take this? I'm gonna set these next to each other. Yeah. Can you come stand? Can you come over to this device again and make it go off, please? I know it takes a lot of energy to do that. Can you come over and talk to us? 55.5. Holy shit. 49.3. 53. That 53 is. That's oh awesome. Did you hear that? That was a footstep all the way up there. Hi. How are you? I dropped a zero. I know. That's so oh. awesome. Oh my gosh, what is it's it? It's going back up again. Yeah. That's a car. Oh my god, thank gosh. Because what does it sound like? Almost like a uh, like a over yeah. <laughs> Can you come say hi to me? 
you can do so in this device over here. Twenty point five. I would love nothing more than to talk to you. Just seeing that spike is just so weird for me. I love the fact that it's going from like zero to four to like. 50. Yeah. Like it's not. Like it's not just yeah. Up, it's just suddenly it's there. I honestly didn't expect like this to go off at all. To be completely honest, I expected nothing. Like, yeah. I didn't expect anything. So it's really cool that like these are going off. It makes me want to bring more things down here. Yes. But like, our entire backpacks and suffered. I know. It was just the trek back up didn't look very fun. Fifty three point eight. Oh my gosh. It's like you called it out, so it's like, never mind. Never mind. I want to try something. So this also has a little REM pod thing on it, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So I just want to see if anything. 66.8. There's this. Can you make this one go off too? Just touch the antenna on this one like this. It'll give you a bunch of colors. It's super cool, I promise. Because I know that you know how to use this one. I want to see if you know how to use this one. I've never seen this one go off. Oh, really? Yeah, I've seen this one go off a lot, but I've never seen this one. Do you have your little EMF reader thing? Not, Not on you, but you brought it. Okay. The other one. That was a 54.7. That's awesome. I'm actually going to turn this like this so it's on it. Can you please give us a different sign that you hear here? Maybe knock on something or maybe shuffle on the steps or something like that. I'm just curious on how much energy it takes to like put themselves near stuff like that. Yeah. Especially getting both devices doing Yeah, like you know, because it doesn't seem like to us it's not a lot, but that's because so they're not like, physical, it might be something, yeah, yeah. It might be something that's like a ton of energy to do. Well, we're going to go somewhere else. You're welcome to follow us, though. Okay? I said no, thank you. <laughs> it was like, how dare you? After everything I've done, my foot is asleep. Oh my god. Yeah, good luck walking up those fucking stairs. Do you want to hold her hand? It just went off. They're both going off. Oh my god. I stopped filming for two seconds to pick up our stuff and leave. I said to you, I, I said, down for it. I said, let's pick up our stuff and leave. And that's what happened. You know why? Because I said, you should hold hands and go up the steps. And I reached down and I held my hand. Oh, out. awesome. We're friends. We're friends. <laughs> Best friend of Mundo's. Can you do it one more time for me? Can you make them both go off this time? Like you did? That's awesome. I've never seen that. That was amazing. My foot's asleep, like. Look at your toes. Let's see. Come on, bestie. Doesn't it smell like burnt yes. stuff? Like, it smells not good. Like burnt something. Like burnt hair or like burntness? Burntness, yes. Burntness. Burntness. Hmm? 10.5, here we go. No? No. no. All right, well, we're. Getting ready to take off.
This would be one of those places where it just got to film everything. Yeah. You're gonna have twenty thousand dollars of footage to go through. Oh yeah. All right, we're getting ready to leave. Thank you so much. Fifty point six. You can't see it. I'm sorry. sorry. I just get twenty five. Oh, okay. I'm sorry guys, you're on that little thing. I know, you want us to stay. We have to go visit other people. 134. 134. 134. We have to go visit other people, friend. I know, we like you too. Make sure you polish your name so you know who to talk to. Yeah. Eighty-nine point nine. One hundred thirty-four is your max. Wow. Sixty point five. They're all so high. It's such a strong lead. There's nothing. I know. Lead. I knew that would happen as soon as I. And I feel so bad. Oh, your lights flickering. I feel bad because obviously it was the contact. I know. Maybe we should come back here at some point. Like after we grew up, because we only carried down the bear stuff. Because we expected it to I didn't expect anything to happen. Apparently, she's carrying stuff down everywhere. 65.5. That's a lot. Can you say bye for me?
some black. Because we're asking nicely, and we're feeble women and we cannot do such tasks. It would be better if we had a man do it for us. A big, strong man. Yeah. Was she pregnant when she died?
talking about me. Who did they get on this group? I Who are they going to get? you feeling today i feel bad vibes all around to be completely honest let's go left this way yeah why not and then maybe we'll just pop up in a room or maybe you can like kind of a little outside yeah That'd be cool the solarium picture being the dead of winter and they're just throwing you out here because that's what they think helps you oh my god no. all right let's just set up shop here because this seems really cool i like this Hello, hello. I got a lot of luck, but we have some luck with. Hello? I can't see anything down there. That's creepy down there, by the way. There was like a footstep or something. Yeah. Um, what was like the lights? Because some, some luck with the lights. With the red lights? Red lights, um. I left. Okay, let's try red lights. There it is again! I can't see either. That's a fucked up part. I will go down there and I will cry. Are you gonna go down there by yourself? I will go. I will record it. That way, if I see anything, which oh is me, it's the fourth floor. Okay, we'll run back over here. If you <laughs> so if you hear me crying, you'll know why. Well, how far are you going? I don't know. There's a little bit to see, but you know, it's just annoying. Hi. Are we friendly? Okay, I'm gonna kind of sit here and see if I can journal this activity. So she's kind of gonna split off and do her own thing. She's got a little camera, um, so you'll be able to see that. Is anybody here with me? I can't see where Sabrina's flashlight is, so I don't know where she went. Do you want to come over here and talk to me? That sounded like a bird tweet through this. I've never heard that before. What the fuck was that? 